Today I thought I'd uh, play some Monster Hunter. I've been liking to play Monster Hunter quite a bit lately. Um, I used to be quite into it. This character has about 500 hours on her. And yeah, I've uh, I've played up until Safi because I played a lot of the hours before the, uh, the Iceborne update. And then when the Iceborne update came out, I bought it on PlayStation and uh and played quite a bit on playstation and then i kind of got worn out and now i'm playing on pc again um so i haven't played quite as much on pc in the iceborne meta at least so i thought a good idea for some youtube content would be to go through every monster and fight it enough to make the armor for it so there's quite a few things that i have the armor for already because meta stuff and things like that and you know like not even uh monster armor i have all the stuff needed for that so i thought i'd go through and look to see what monsters i need and just you know make the uh make the armor for it so we're not going to go with uh small monster stuff so i think the first one would be the Jiros because i'm pretty sure we can make the jagras because uh yeah it's pretty easy um, might as well just go ahead and craft it all, because might as well get every armor, you know. Oh, no, we're going to have to fight the Jagras. <laughs> Humble beginnings, going back to fighting the Jagras. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll wishlist it. Uh, I'll wishlist all of them. And I'll just get rid of the stuff over that. Okay, so we got these. I'm going to make these up. Just to just to get these out of the way too. Just so then we know what I need to fight uh, in the next stage after we've killed a few great Jagrasses. Oh nice, we managed to make every single piece, which is good. So that's done. And next we'd have to fight the Jiros. So let's go fight some great Jagrasses. I'm also uh, currently running with... I don't know why, but I like to edit equipment at the box and not at the person. I'm currently running with some transmog stuff, so I got the uh, transmog for the scarf at least, because I wasn't around when the scarf came out. I actually uh, transmogged it before the scarf was actually released on PC, just because I really liked the flowing in the wind scarf. So as you can see, we're going with the Safi Shatter Axe. I don't have many Safi weapons, and I've only run it like three times. Oh, well, not three times, obviously a bit more than that, but I've only run it a few times. So I don't have that many levels into stuff, but we're going with crit eye attack boost, full health, some blast attack because this is a blast weapon, uh, some crit boost, focus, earplugs, power prolonger, and uh, some part break, just a little bit of part breaker. And uh, I think I am going to switch one of my decorations actually, so that instead of being a power prolonger, it's got some... Uh, crit, um, weakness exploit on it because, ooh, actually, um, instead of crit boost, we'll go for some weakness, weakness exploit because I don't really need that much crit damage. I do need, uh, weakness exploit though, because it's very necessary when you want, like, cause I'm running with just a smidgen of purple sharpness and purple sharpness is just absolutely amazing to go with so uh this is the loadout we're doing so let's just save it over and uh yeah and for items i usually just go with a simple loadout um so trapless and trapped uh just going solo i haven't edited anything other than those in quite some time so this you know we just got everything you need we got the mega potions, stuff to make mega potions. We got max potions and stuff to make max potions. We got our flash pods, our dung pods, just in case monsters get in the way. We got our mega barrels, just in case we get a nice sleep off with our palico weapon. Uh, we got some cool drinks, some hot drinks, a far caster in case things get dicey and I actually remember to use it. We got the jerky and the herbal medicine, so then we can uh, heal status effects. Rations in case I'm out there for too long. Null berries for status effects. Ancient potion in case when I respawn after dying, I don't have, uh, I can't eat at the uh, canteen yet. 
So, and then we just got the uh, the strength and defense pots. We'll go with some glorious tickets, and we'll go with. Uh, let me see. Ah, we'll just go with this one. Black belt's very useful for everything. Um, so let's just start up a. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna check and see if we don't have access to a great Jagras quest, just so we can only do one hunt and get done with it. Um, sorting is hard to remember. Where's the Jagras? Oh, I don't have it. Okay. Can't confirm. No great Jagrases. I mean, I doubt I would ever have one, you know, because you don't fight them. I don't even think you fight a single one in, uh, in Iceborne. So it's like, why would you ever have fought one of them? Except for the uh, Master Rank 1 stuff. Uh, where is this cute little boy? Okay, here we go. We'll go for him. And I am a little bit short on funds. I mean, 300. Well, not 300. Yeah, I'm at 250 now. So crafting stuff is going to get a little bit expensive. Um, loading is going to take a little bit because I'm recording. <laughs> but off we go. Okay, we're not even going to bother with uh, with buffing up in the bottom right. We're just going to go straight in. Going to go super ham mode. Um, we should pick up some rocks. I'm a little bit better at remembering to use the Iceborne Clutch Claw, but honestly, I'm not very familiar with it. I mean, it is a brand new function. Like, imagine playing 300 plus hours without a Clutch Claw, and then just instantly remembering oh yeah there's a clutch claw i can use that and it's highly advantageous like you don't remember that you just don't so we'll just get our clutch claw off uh what okay you can tell i haven't clutch clawed this bad boy ever before i also have really bad camera angles okay let's get a wound going thank you Let's see if we can't flinch him. Nope, we can't flinch him. He's gonna leave. That's fine. It's not like we're going for speed here. <laughs> we're just going to see if we can't get every single set of armor. Beta, at least. Alpha's kind of useless. Because, um, I mean, if you can go for every set of armor, you might as well be able to get all of the jewels as well. So, since we... Oh, he's in an animation. That's interesting. I've never actually tried to clutch claw him while he was, uh, yeah, goodbye sharpness, holy cow. Yeah. Every time I'm hitting the, <laughs> the Abdanath, I'm just losing so much sharpness. Oh, there we go. Let's just slow roll our way around to his arm and miss it entirely. Pop it right in him, nice gonna roar but it does nothing because he's a cute little boy oh, crap I didn't get the uh, the recharge the reload going I always forget that there's like a reload core that you have to do like boop it's so whack such a such an interesting function for a weapon I'd uh, I definitely debate that you don't need to have that middle section to reload it because after you've spent all this time in here, if it just switches you over to axe mode, sometimes you need to be in axe mode because you move so much faster. And also this right here does so much damage and it looks so good. The style point damage is amazing. Oh. Okay, so he's, uh, he's fallen over now. Let's grab the materials. Uh, we don't need to grab any of the scratch marks, because who cares? Let's grab right onto him. Let's get a nice damage off. We don't have any uh, any pot, uh, anything to capture him with, so we might as well just go for the kill. Let's break his face off. Nice. 
We got him to flinch so he won't be running away anymore. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. He's decided to fight. And we'll just kill him. There we go. A nice finishing move. And we'll uh, we'll grab the parts right away. I will like to say that usually when I play this game, I play with the overlay Hello World. Uh, that's what it calls itself, but then the mod page for it is just an overlay that gives you a lot of information and stuff. Like, that's literally what it's called. But, yeah, I usually go with that. Um, it does, like, do a lot of stuff on the display, but it also tells you really good information. Like, how long you have until they're done being enraged, how long you have until uh, they get status effect buildup done, just so then you can time some stuff, you know? And it also helps quite a bit with uh, understanding when you need to uh, cap the monster if you're trying to capture it. So it's a, it's, it's a big help, definitely. Um, but I'm just not going to show it in the videos because it does it does like cover up half of the display. So yeah, maybe I can hide certain elements because I use this. So it's like, why even bother? Uh, let's take all the resources since we're trying to craft up some armor. And that jewel probably not even good, so I don't even bother reading it. But it's good to have jewels, so then if you ever need to just toss jewels at something, you can toss all those, you know? Okay, let's grab the harvest. Okay, everything's at 8. I recently, uh, while doing Safi, I forgot about my my boy there in the botanical research, so I just lost all of my status, which was pretty annoying. Okay, let's craft up the armor. I don't care about those first sets of armor, honestly. Um, oh, we don't have any of the things. Ah, uh, we need Jagra shards. Okay. We can get those easy enough. This is one thing I really hate about uh, large monster armor sets is when they need uh, the small monster parts to make it. It's kind of annoying. Because you just, you you go into that mindset of, oh, I need to kill the monster that this is a name after. The great Jagras, not the normal Jagras. <laughs> okay, we'll grab the uh, Assassin's Creed hood just to be a little faster. So we can get right over to the Jagras really quick. We need to have like five shards, I'm guessing. We'll go for quite a few. Because I'm not sure if it said two shards per or if it said one shard per, but it might as well go with safety and get like five or six, just then we never have to get them again. And you know, we might be crafting some Jagras equipment later on. Um, I do want to get everything in the game, which would be nice. Get some nice full completion because completion is, it is nice to have. Okay, let's, uh... Crap, he became friendly. I should have got rid of uh, my Palico so he didn't friend any of the Jagras. Hopefully we'll get enough shards. We got one shard. Got a tough claw. Okay, so we just needed one for each. So we'll just get one for each. Hopefully this will be a shard and we can go back. Nope. Gotta go fight some more Jagras. Might as well grab the mining outcrop. Again, I was... I'm just... Like, I really need to put content out there. I need to grow my content. And get more ideas. And the only way to have more ideas is to try things. So I'm trying this out. I mean... It's something that I wanted to do anyway, so it's something that I'm just getting content from. Uh, flexing my editing muscles a little bit and my communication muscles, which are good, so might as well. And you know, while I'm at it, I'm also getting all the uh, all the stuff that I wanted to do, getting all the beta sets, which is uh, nice. And I also want to get every weapon, um, at least all the important-ish weapons. I know Safi is a pretty important just like it takes over the importance factor but you know you gotta you gotta start somewhere okay let's see if this is good enough we got our chest piece 
And we got our waistband. If I can remember to do it right. And we got our pants. Nice. So we got all these set up. And we've gotten the Tichi. Now we'll get the Jiros. Um, ah. Okay, we do need to fight the great Jiros, which is nice. But we need to get a whole bunch of Jiros shards. Uh, let me make sure. I don't know why I backed out there. Let me make sure. Okay, so we need two warped bone for this. We need two gyro shard. We need two more warped bones. So we need four. We need three gyro shard. Uh, we need four gyro shard, four warped bones. Uh, so we might as well go and do that quest really quick. Um, I don't know if I have a great gyro hunt quest. But, oh, look at that. We got a daily bounty completed. I guess I could also do that for some videos. Get some daily bounties done. Um, where is the Jiros? Great Jiros. There we go. Master rank, great Jiros. Going for him. And I'm not getting the login bonuses because I was doing some, uh, some money farming, which I could also show. Um... And when you're farming for money, you uh, you want to take absolute benefit of the... Oh, I'm an idiot. You want to not do what I just did and spend tickets <laughs> on, on things that don't give much money. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we do have to capture this Jiros. So we'll make sure that we're prepared to do that with some, uh, some capture ability things, whatever they're called. Traps. Traps are what they're called. And we'll just... We'll head right into the uh, the action. Not even going for any effluvia resistance because it's not even necessary, honestly. If we're not fighting uh, Valhazak, it, it doesn't really even matter. Okay, let's grab this just to make some stuff easier. Uh, I hate that you can't jump all the way down. Let's grab our Wiggly Litchy. Just for the benefit of having a lot of stamina. And here we're going to farm out some of our Jiros. Might as well disrupt them with the mist. Okay, we got a triple kill. And the fourth one's probably going to join our... Oh, oh, that guy didn't die. Okay, goodbye, sir. Have, have a nice life. Okay, we got one shard. We need three in total. Oh, there we go. Two. And we need one more. Oh, there's an Odo. That's a claw. We need a shard. That should have killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye, little Jiros. I like you way more than Jagras, because you uh you paralyze my enemies. Oh, that's a claw. We need a shard. And this guy's gonna fight us, so we might as well make use of our dung pods. Uh, unless he doesn't chase, in which we don't have to care. Seems like that is in fact the case. I do not want to fight a Glavinus. I hate Glavinus, dude. They're that's not what I wanted. I was seeing if I could get some tracks, but... <clears throat> picked up a useless thing instead. Oh, there we go. There's the Jiros. Hello, buddy. And let's throw you right into a wall, bud. Thank you. Sorry. Get some nice levels going. Okay, we broke some parts. Let's hop onto him. Get a head smash. We don't need his tail. We don't really need any of his parts, honestly. But we are here for this as a quest. So we have to get him down. We might as well do it now. Quick statics check. He's at 75%. We are blowing through his health very quickly, as you would probably have. Eh, I got taste. As you would have probably guessed. Because this weapon is post-everything that he knows for his life. 
160 damage per hit. That's 2% per hit, by the way. 2% of his max life every time we smack him. In the face, at least, with a B attack. Okay, mount him again. Get some nice damage going. Yeah, that explosion does so much. I do 15% per time I do that. Which is just absolutely insane when you think about it. Ah, he tased me again. Ah, the only annoying thing about some bosses, bosses, monsters, is the fact that they have status effects. This thing would be a cakewalk if he didn't have the status effect. Because he doesn't have a loud roar. Loud roars are honestly the most annoying part about monsters. Loud roars, and when they one-shot you for no reason. Oh, there we go. Metar saved me. Don't ask why I named it after a Metar. <laughs> People name their cats whatever they want, man. You can't change the name, so it's like, why even bother? I tried to make it look like a Metar, which is like just a, an honestly foolish uh, hope. Okay, we're at 40% now, so we should bring him down to the point in which he runs away. A solid 30%. We need to bring him down a bit more to 20. 28. 25. 21. 20. Okay. We'll let him run if he feels like it. And he doesn't, so we'll provoke him. Run away, buddy. Run away. Thank you. I'm going to get what I came here for, which are Jiros. Oh my goodness, they just come right out of the woodwork. 180 damage is more than enough to kill a Jiros. Okay, we need a shard. Then we're good. That, we got a shard. And let's grab some bone piles, because we need four of a specific type of bone. I forget what exactly it is, but we need four bones. I'm also not entirely sure if that was enough damage to make the Jiros uh, capable. Because Iceborne really did a number on capability. Before Iceborne in high rank, uh, if anything was at 20% health, you could cap it, period. Now everything has an individual cap level. So the Pickle has a different cap requirement than, say... Glavinous. Just entirely different. Completely different. And no real reason why. Like, it doesn't have to do with their size, it doesn't have to do with their max health, it doesn't have to do with anything. Just whether or not the devs decided that they should take a bunch of, uh, bunch more hits to die, you know? And I get that, like, adding variability to a game where people can use cheats, but uh, if you call these cheats, I don't really call it cheats to understand this. Because it's just taking data from the game. And also, uh, you can just look at the bottom. Like, you see how Jiros' pulse is super slow? That's because he's, uh, he's almost dead. And, it flat and when it starts to flatline, that's when he gets super tired. All these things are tells that the game like wants you to know. But, like, why memorize these things? You have to worry about so much already in this game. You have to worry about... Being in the correct position, being uh, oh, warped bones, that's what I'm looking for. I need four of them. Got one so far. Feels great. You need to worry about so much stuff in this game. And like knowing how much health something has left, not really that important of a thing to like. Not important enough that you have to look at like three different things to be able to figure out how much health it has left, you know? You might as well just be able to look at one thing and say, oh, he's got 2,450. He's sleeping right now. Knowing what move he's doing is a bit cheatsy. Are there no bones back here? I thought there were bones back here. Yeah, knowing how much, like, what move he's going to do, a little bit cheatsy, but you can't really react to something fast, that fast. Like, you'd have to read it, and then, nope, there's no bones back here, okay. Um, oh, there's bones over here. Where is over here? That's in the down area. Wait, 
That's in what's his face's pit. I can go there. But you'd have to react to a uh to reading something faster than reacting to t to a tell. And usually the tell, I mean like the game was designed for tells to be what tells you what move they're going to make. So I mean you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage to ooh. Ant cargo. Razor wings, nice. Um, are there any harvestables back here? There are not. I'm kind of just running around like a maniac, like an idiot, actually. Um, this, oh, I just missed a bone pile. I am running around like an idiot. Can't confirm. <laughs> I don't want the dragon bow relic. I just want warped bones. If you could give those to me, that'd be great. Oh, wait, you can climb up there? That's crazy never knew that okay so yeah the area I'm going towards is over here just trying to get those bones because for some reason they're taking that long <laughs> to get uh, yeah like if I can read jump down before I see the fact that he's jumping off of something like I'm, I'm a I, I deserve to have that foresight you know because they start the animation, and you could, if you've played the game at least, like, two hours, you'll be like, yep, Great Jogress is about to eat that thing. Oh, he's eating it. Yep, there we go. Oh, he's about to do a roll because he did that tell. Yep, there we go. He's rolling. I failed to dodge it because I suck, but he, I knew he was rolling. <laughs> like, you, you know these things if you've played the game. So it's not really cheating. Plus, knowing status buildups, you don't have to be like, okay, I saw the particle effect plus one take into account his resistance take into account how much mass he has take into account his length which i could surmise based off seeing it oh and we oh okay okay so taking all those things into account uh, i have to hit him three more times where it actually procs to be able to have it happen like nobody's that insane at the game i'm just saying right now most people are just i will wail on this monster until this procs or i'll use this ammo until this procs and then i'll be done like, it doesn't change that much. It just lets you know, like, okay, I have a chance. Like, for mounting. Like, if you if you use one mounting attack, you you see the mount meter, and it's like 80 out of 1,000. You're like, yeah, I'm just not going to try. <laughs> There's no point. One warped bone. Dude, these warped bones are, like, the most uncommon thing in the universe. I'm going to go up to the upper areas, see if I can't grab it from there. But I've grabbed, like, how many bones? And I've got two warped bones? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, let's see if this one will give us anything. <sighs> no luck. Absolutely no luck. I just want to mention that the, um... These tools, they look so amazing if the cloth wasn't white. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not saying the cloth looks terrible white. I'm just saying they look even better with purple. Like, if I could customize the color of the cloth on these weapons, they'd match my outfit so much better. Like, sure, they kind of match the gold, but the gold is meant to be, like, the main color, and the main color for the weapon is red. Holy cow, can I not get, like, the least rare thing? Obviously, thick bone is the least rare thing, and that's why I'm getting it a bunch. But warped bones aren't as rare as dragon bones. That's why they don't have the animation. The rare animation. Okay, let's go for it. Come on. Give me two warped dragon bones back to back. Nope. Yes. No. You, you terrible game. Please. <laughs> if I diss the game, it'll totally give it to me. That's how it works. That's why that's why it asks what your microphone settings are. There we go. See, I dissed it and it gave it to me. What are you looking at, Hornetar? Okay, let's go finish the quest. Um, we'll just jump down. Okay, so this will be uh two out of the sorry, three. Three out of the four armor sets completed. Not three out of the four. Three of the armor sets completed. <laughs> There's way more than four out there. Um, 
Jiros is searching. I'm going to whack him twice just to make sure he's at the right health threshold in case he slept above it. Got this. Roaring, perfect time. Tase him, and we got him. There we go. We've done it. We've defeated two very easy monsters in our quest to get every type of armor. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to craft them up right now, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah yes, hello Second Fleet Master. I would like to craft some crappy armor. Please, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yes, 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 yes. I need this. I very much need this. This is very important to me. Oh yes, this one too. Very, very important to me. Thank you so much. Oh no, I don't want to. Oh no, no, no. I didn't want to back out. I just wanted to tell you not not to let make me wear it. Oh yes, yes, yes. I need these vampires. Hmm. Pronto. Definitely. Mm hmm. This coil. Oh, so important. Thank you so much. So much. Oh, this one's actually important. Oh crap. I don't have enough Jiros shards. Crap. Oh my goodness. And then I got three warped bones from the. Uh, Tail Raiders, why?